two Brown Elementary School parents are keeping their children home this week after their kids were threatened by another student. They say the classmate pulled a sharp weapon in class and threatened to cut their throats. KXY 4's John Langler live at the Spokane Public Schools headquarters. And John, parents say the district needs to do more? Yeah, Dave, they say that the policy that Spokane Public Schools and other districts have in place to protect the privacy of students actually prevents their safety. And now the parents we spoke to say they're looking at moving their students to another school. He pulled out a weapon and said, I'm going to cut your effing throat. Adam Kirkus is referring to his son, who attends Brown Elementary. Three weeks ago, another student allegedly took out a sharp weapon and threatened him. The student was suspended, but came back less than a week later, and according to Kirkus, made threats again. We told the principal, we're supposed to speak out. If you, if you hear of anything, you're, you're supposed to tell somebody. He did. Now my kid's out of school because the system isn't working. This man's son was there and was it's also important. threatened. Important His child is afraid to go back to school. That's what he, wants he asked to that's not to be named. I'm not willing to gamble on my child. This student is saying, I'm going to slit throats and I'm going to kill people. He has brought a weapon to school that could be used to slit somebody's throat. Need I say more? Both fathers are upset with the district's policy on discipline and privacy. They didn't hear about the threats until their children told them. And teachers cannot share information on students that cause trouble. They need to be able to have all their eyes and ears on everybody and know that there's a situation. They need to be able to feel comfortable and talk about it. The district says it takes every incident very seriously, but adds every child has a right to an education without being labeled. That doesn't satisfy these parents. And I keep getting that, that you know, this other student has rights. Um, at the same time, my son has a right to have a safe education and that's just not happening. Now the Kirkus family did meet with the school district late today to hear their concerns. We also spoke with the school district. They could not comment specifically on this case but they say they take safety very seriously and they do all they can to protect all of the children and all the students in the district. They also say if there is a troubled child in the district or at a school they make sure everybody that has to know knows. Reporting live downtown, John Langler, KXLY4.